Hey guys, what's up? This is Leo with DLSIM.us and I have another unboxing review for you. This one is a Blue Vivo XL, one of the two new Vivo phones announced by Blue uh, in January 2016. And so I just got this in the mail yesterday and let's take a look at it. The phone is pretty thin. So the Vivo line is uh, the are these thin and light phones. And uh, this one is thin and light. Uh, it's not a super luxury or premium build. But uh, there is an older brother for this phone, Vivo 5. And that's a full metal body and looks more like an iPhone 5. But I didn't want to get it because it actually costs 50 bucks more. And uh, the, the main difference between the two are more RAM, more storage. I think it's 3 gigabytes, 32 and uh, the older brother supports fewer LTE bands, which sucks because, you know, it's more expensive. So I would expect them to put the right LTE bands. But this one was better on paper, so I got it. And I also got it for 100 bucks on pre-sale, first three-day sale. So let's take a look at it. Okay, the phone itself, like I said, it's pretty light. Got this plastic, uh, really slippery back cover, so you might want to put it in the case otherwise it's easy to drop um so it's like i said light aluminum uh frame around the phone so if you drop it chances are you're not gonna crack the screen right away unless you drop it screen down the aluminum will protect the phone okay so uh, i already pre-cracked opened it so it's easier to take off the back plate because in the very beginning it's kind of hard all right, so just a loom, uh, piece of plastic, no NFC antenna, very unfortunate for people who use Google Pay and other NFC things. So here's the back of the phone, 3200 milliamp hour battery. I'm not gonna pull it out, but it's there. Two SIM cards, I already have them installed. Right there, micro SD card slot, then you have 13 megapixel camera and a flash. Two buttons on the right side, that's it. Headphone jack on the top. USB Type-C on the bottom. So this is a great thing for people who want USB Type-C. An inexpensive phone with that. Uh, dual SIM, LT, all that good stuff. All right, what's in the box? We have cheap headphones. Can throw them out or just keep them for when we need them, when we lose the good ones. Like I said, USB Type-C cable. Right there. I'm glad my camera focused on it. Uh, 2 amp charger, it's not a fast charger, so if you want fast charger and quick charge, you want to get a separate charger for your phone, then clear TPU case will get yellow pretty fast, but it's nice for blue to include it, because uh, protecting your phone is important, you don't want to drop it and crack the screen right away, and finally, in the box we have... Uh, this screen protector and the sticker that I peeled off the phone with the specs. Okay, so that's how it was. Here are your specs. I'm not gonna read them out again, but uh, they're pretty good, you know, for a budget phone. So this phone is $150, like I said, on Amazon. If you want to buy, there is a link in the description below. I got it for $100 on pre-sale the first three days, uh, but through Best Buy, they didn't do pre-sale on Amazon. Okay, let's take a look at the phone. So I already set it up, and uh, so we don't waste time on that. Uh, you can turn on screen. There, are, There is a bunch of smart gestures with the screen off, so you can double tap, turn the screen on. You can write a C for camera. Pretty convenient. Uh, you can write an O to turn on flash or flashlight. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it does. Okay, never mind. It works sometimes, like I said. I, I guess my O is not that good. So, um, this phone has a standard blue... Uh, launcher that blue uses in 2015 and now in 2016 i'm not a big fan of it and in fact i will go ahead and swap it for google now launcher uh, so if you if you like the iphone type where all your apps are on the 
uh, home screen, then you might want to keep it or get rid of it. It's easy to change them back and forth. Okay, so um, what I like about this phone, I didn't understand this feature in the beginning, actually about this software that Blue is using. All your settings are on the bottom, so you swap swipe from the bottom and your quick settings pop out. If you swipe from the top, it's only notifications now and uh, some notice management, so I never use that. Also, if you swipe somewhere from the middle of the screen, you get this uh, theme, desktop settings, uh, search, wallpaper, edit desktop. So if you swipe from the black up, you get the quick settings. If you swipe from the screen up or like from here, you get this other settings menu all right um camera so it's an okay camera for this phone so 13 megapixels pretty decent quality uh you don't see it well on the on my camera because of the color distortions but i'm going to include this picture in the video so you can see it all right uh video I believe you can shoot in 1080p, maximum size. And yes, 1080p max. All right, uh, it's pretty good camera software. I actually like it. It's very convenient. You can turn on flash easy, you know, much better than Google camera setting uh, accessibility. All right, moving on. This is a dual SIM phone after all, so let's talk about dual SIMs. So if you go into settings, you go into dual SIM, you can change your data SIM card without pulling them out, just uh, over here. Sell data and you choose the one you want to use. You can change your default call and messaging SIM card. Very convenient, same as previous Blue phone that I reviewed, Blue Pure Excel as well as blue energy x or whatever it was all right um so next thing speed test let's check the speed of the lte i've done another test previously so it's weird i'm getting like 35 33 megabits down but about half an hour ago i tested this in the same spot and got 60 megabits down and then about 25 up so same will be on SIM2, we're not going to waste time with that. Uh, overall, it's a pretty snappy phone. One thing I've noticed, guys, is the speaker is kind of crappy. It vibrates really loudly when you turn on the phone. It kind of, you know, like really annoys the ear. So um, if you listen to a lot of music on your phone without headphones, maybe this is not the phone for you. But overall, for 150 bucks, you get a lot with it. I think it's a great option because like if you go to buy an unlocked phone you get some piece of junk for $150 that's uh, you know 3G 4 inch screen and a crappy 2 megapixel camera so nothing this is a much better deal but it's not a high end phone by any means all right uh so this was my unboxing review and uh, stay tuned for a full review of this phone. And uh, one last thing, guys. Um, this was a big deal for me in uh, Blue Pure Excel. I actually made a separate video. I couldn't do screencasting with Chromecast on Blue Pure Excel. But this one I tested last night and it works great. So you can cast your screen. Whatever you see on the screen will be on your TV. Even like YouTube easily your uh, Chrome browser, whatever. You can see everything what you do on a phone, on your TV. Very convenient and uh, works out of the box. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this phone and want to get it, it's once again 150 bucks. Link in the description below to Amazon. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video if you enjoyed it, and come back for more. See ya.